In this scenario, the infrastructure project proposal is to build a high efficiency solar farm using a greenfield site while trying to avoid any possible buried archaeology. The National Monuments Act 2014 requires most development lands first to be adequately surveyed. The main objectives of a geophysical survey will be to determine possible archaeological features and deposits, to identify unknown archaeological sites, and to recommend targets for direct archaeological testing. A survey greatly reduces the risk for a developer. It helps determine if land is suitable for purchase and helps avoid costly project delays at the construction stage. A survey will help prevent the destruction of archaeological remains and thus preserve it as an historical resource for mankind. Before surveying, we need to obtain the required licensing to proceed. Next, Minarex will check any available archaeological, historical and geological records. These will inform the decision which surveying technology and methods best suit the landscape and material composition. The Greenfield site to be surveyed favours the use of a magnetic gradiometry instrument such as the LIAMAX system, configured to cover large areas of ground efficiently and economically. Ten sensors at 50 cm intervals collect geo-positioned data every 5 to 10 cm along each line, resulting in millions of data points. Here we see an approximation of how a historical dwelling can leave telltale markings in the landscape that our instruments are able to detect. Surveying this field reveals an unusual set of shapes, unlikely to be generated by nature. In the middle of the scan, we have two related circular patterns. The inner circle shows possible remains of a dwelling, while the outer circle could have been a defensive enclosure. To one side of the inner shape are small magnetic weak points, which may indicate the presence of fire pits. Below the larger circular shape are linear patterns which could indicate a former field system. Our ability to detect these details is due to the presence of the remnants in the ground. Things like backfilled ditches, ash piles, wood and post holes from buildings, which because they are physically different to the material around them, change the magnetic profile of the area. It is this small difference in magnetic force that will be detected by the survey equipment. Once all the data is formed into interpretable images, it is then cross-referenced with the historical and ordnance survey maps, which gives a good impression for the context of the magnetic anomalies in the surrounding landscape. Once all the data is formed into interpretable images, it is then cross-referenced with the historical and ordnance survey maps, which gives a good impression of the context of the magnetic anomalies in the surrounding landscape. With all relevant, available information in mind, the magnetic data is analysed into an interpretation of what is likely to explain the features and anomalies discovered during the survey. Should evidence of archaeology be detected in the survey, it can either be referred to the attention of the archaeologist for direct investigation. Alternatively, the area can be avoided in the construction plan altogether. Even if it is not immediately investigated, the data is being recorded for future generations to unearth. The final report is presented to stakeholders with maps to illustrate the results of the survey. The final report is further archived by the National Monument Survey of Ireland to last forever.